Today we're going to be installing these Yida motor running boards on our 2014 Chevy Silverado. If you're thinking about installing running boards and you have never done this before or you're afraid of doing it, you're going to want to watch this video. The first nice thing about these is that the bolts move around, so there's really no way that you could get the wrong size as long as you have a crew cab. If you don't have a crew cab, make sure that you check the vehicle's fit using Amazon's tool. Inside the package, you're going to have both running boards. You're also going to have two boxes that contain a total of eight brackets. Along with the brackets is a package of screws, bolts, adapters, if you don't have threaded holes on your vehicle, and washers. The brackets attach to the underside of the truck just like this. Ours happen to have uh, two that were threaded, so this one has a bolt on it already, and then the top part of it is threaded. But two of them did not have the threads or the bolts, so we had to use all of the components that were included in the package. This is what it looks like if your truck already has threaded bolts ready to install running boards. If your truck does not have threads, you're going to need these bolts and these adapters. They're pretty easy to install and we'll show you how to do that shortly. Regardless of if they're threaded or not, you're going to need all of the screws and all of the washers. The front of our truck is where we already had the threaded bolts, so you're going to line up the brackets on holes one, two, four, and five. This is hole number one. We used both a drill and a hand wrench to do this, the drill for the bottom and the hand wrench for the top and to tighten everything down. The drill just made a quick and easy job go a little quicker and easier. You can see here that he is using a ratchet on the top. Now, if your truck does not have threaded holes like these, they don't have any threads in them, you're gonna need these gold pieces and you're going to need to pop off this plastic cap and then you insert this clip with the threads in the back of that hole clipped on this side so that you can actually attach the brackets to this area. If you've been avoiding running boards because you don't have threaded holes but you have the plastic caps, go ahead and get these. Now once all the brackets are installed, you're gonna remove all of the bolts from the bottom of the running board. The nuts on the inside move around, so you're gonna slide them until they line up with the holes on your brackets. Before you start tightening bolts, make sure you have them all lined up. Then repeat the process on the other side and ta-da, you now have running boards.